Welcome to Wonderland Weekly, hosted by Toronto Tie. Now sit back and have a wonderful week. Hey everyone, Toronto Tie back here in the park this week. Uh, and I realized that I didn't actually really show off <laughs> the floral flag which has been planted. Uh, so yes, the Canada flag out front of the Royal Fountain is back, which is great to see. International street looking very, very floral, which is great. And now you can't even really tell that there is that uh, one random footing here. Cool. So inside the uh, new refresh stand here, uh, attached to the Crystal Arcade, they have put up the queue, which is cool. That's all ready to go. And then I believe that this will be where the cash register is, the cash registers, um, so you can come in, scan your, uh, your cup, and get your drink. Still not open, but progress. Miner's Cafe continuing to uh, have additional improvements. Uh, it's not open at the moment. Hopefully it'll be open a little later in the day. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it looks absolutely fantastic with this new uh, awning out front uh, that, uh, you know, it, it's got like the corrugated steel uh, and everything. Just really, really great to see that. And right now we've got Major Max standing out front of Yukon Striker, which is currently down. Uh, but he is, you know, taking pictures with uh, kids and other people, uh, which is really, really awesome. And it sounds like they just got uh, the people sent on the ride, which is awesome. Woo! Enjoy the ride! I love the water tower out front of the ride, and I also kind of love how it's leaking already, like just dripping water here. Uh, it makes it feel like it is vintage. I love all this track here. It's so beautiful. So much track. So twisty. So out here in front of the mess hall, uh, they have added railings. So that is really, really great to see. Uh, hopefully this opens up really, really soon. Maybe it'll even open later today. I don't know, but it's already past noon. So I'm gonna say probably not today. Just standing here in Splashworks, getting another shot of Yukon Strikers, uh, three inversions together, three, three of the inversions together, I should say. My goodness, I just, I just can't get enough of this. I just cannot get enough. So beautiful. don't think I am ever going to get tired of filming this ride. It's so beautiful. And is it uh, better than Leviathan? Up to you. But it's certainly over it. <laughs> How beautiful is this shot right here? My goodness. I just love this. I love it so much. I just can't get enough of it, guys. I just can't get enough of this. Fantastic. And then, of course, you have Mindbuster going by. Over here, on top of this, uh, I believe, nicely, nicely done, uh, freshly painted, uh, tunnel here, uh, or underpass if you will. I'm not sure exactly if they, uh, if 
they like redid the tunnel or if they just repainted it and I'm not sure if they did it this week or last week but super super cool to see them uh, you know adding a little bit more of a uh, standard book You know, I talk a lot about the other inversions on this coaster, but I mean, the first Immelman is so awesome. Ooh, it's just the other inversions stand out a little bit more to me. I don't know. Ooh. And then of course, I just realized that these trees here are actually maple trees. So that is actually really, really awesome to see you know, a little bit of the, uh, an extra Canadian touch here along the Frontier Canada Trail. I just noticed on the side of uh, the change rooms here, the Splashworks change rooms, Looks like they put in new lights here. I'm not sure if they're new from last week or not, uh, but they certainly uh, fit the area really, really nicely. You know, they're like the mine style lights. So really, really cool to see all those little touches. All right, guys, so I'm up here checking out Whitewater Canyon because uh, this ride is beautiful and the trees and the forest and everything. Uh, and although, you know, I absolutely hate designated smoking areas, I really, really do, um, they are very useful as long as they are in places that are, you know, not right next to pathways or areas that you kind of have to walk by. Um, so, I have to say, this area right here by Whitewater Canyon. Can this be a designated smoking area instead of some of the other ones? Like the one that is currently like by the other Whitewater Canyon Overlook? Because I don't like that one. That one is awful. Move it here. Thanks. Leave it to me guys to find another new angle of Yukon Striker. From over here, in front of Whitewater Canyon. Standing in its queue. And now I will not be taking my camera on the ride. But still, really, really cool. Ah, there is no bad angle of this ride. <laughs> so the Grab and Go Market here uh, in International Festival uh, has almost opened <laughs> it's seen quite an improvement it's got a new sign up which looks really really great they are currently working on things in there they've got bananas veggie chips all kinds of drinks uh yeah a bunch of fruit uh and a bunch of drinks and they also do make sure that you know that they have gluten-free and vegan options available here so that is really really great and it does look like it is like ready to open maybe like tomorrow <laughs> so i would not be surprised if it is open tomorrow and hopefully you guys can actually see in here you know it is really really hard to film through glass like this all right, so over here in Canterbury Theatre this weekend, uh, they've got the Vaughn International Film Festival. Uh, so it runs uh, today and tomorrow from 12 p.m. until 8 p.m. Uh, and it's showing a bunch of different films from different countries. Uh, you, you can see like the full list here. And apparently they're just running them like on a cycle, uh, like just start to finish and then starting over again. Uh, so you can just wander in, watch, you know, a little bit of one, leave and uh, come back and, you know, watch a different one or whatever, just stay and watch all of them. Totally up to you. Uh, really cool idea. Uh, and there are some that uh, are really appealing to me, but because I don't know like when I'll be able to walk in and catch that specific one, then yeah, I'm not quite sure what uh what i'm gonna do but they, they, they're between two and 20 minutes apparently <laughs> so quite a range guys i have super super exciting news from out here in front of the mighty canadian mind buster they changed out the exit sign Woo! immediately following 
my video going up. That is really, really cool. Uh, <laughs> I guess if you guys want anything else changed, no, I, <laughs> uh, probably totally coincidence, but this is fantastic. I love it. Finally, uh, this sign got changed out and I believe that was like the last one, certainly the most egregious one. So really, really great to see that being done. Thank you, Wonderland. You guys are the best. Standing in line for the world's tallest, fastest, and longest dive coaster, Yukon Striker. Uh, I'm just looking in at the uh, maintenance area, so it is definitely paved. Uh, and they've also done some planting uh, alongside the maintenance, uh, the, the uh, train storage area. So that's really, really cool to see, and more lumber here. Not sure what that's going to be for. But uh, yeah, I, I like that they're, you know, even trying to beautify some of the behind the scenes areas. And even this is looking uh, more finished. There's no uh, temporary fence here anymore, although there is still over there. Guys, twice now today, I have seen Yukon Striker and Vortex sync up. And I'm hoping to actually film it this time. But I won't. So sad. I will eventually get it, I'm sure. Ah, still a great view, though. Cute little geese swimming in the water, all in a line. Mm. Just a different kind of shot for you guys. All right, everyone, it is getting toward the end of the video, and you guys know what that means. It is time for trivia time. So for this week's trivia time, I want you to let me know in the comments below what other Cedar Fair Park has a Mondial Revolution? Cyclone is one of them, and one other Cedar Fair Park has one. So if you can let me know that in the comments below, I'll give you a shout out in my next video. And a huge shout out to Rainbow Arrows, Stephen Legault, and uh, Ryan Rollercoaster for all correctly answering last week's trivia question, which was, of course, uh, what is the literal translation for Kraschenwagen? And, of course, the translation is to Crashing Cars. Loosely translated, it is, uh, it is bumper cars. But, uh, yes, and while I'm here, go Raptors. I know that uh, the Raptors are in the playoffs, um, and that is really, really awesome. And I know that Cedar Fair, uh, California's Great America, and Canada's Wonderland are having a little bit of a, uh, uh, a game with that to see which team wins. But anyway, Mondial Revolution. All right, everyone. Well, that will about do it for this week here at the park. Uh, so once again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah, I will, uh, you know, of course, keep you guys updated on the... Uh, grab-and-go market which honestly looks like it is ready to open any day now like I would not be surprised if it opened tomorrow um, and uh, yeah other than that uh, Vaughn International Film Festival hopefully you guys came out and uh, checked it out uh, if you guys want you know like more immediate updates follow me on Instagram or Twitter uh, I occasionally post uh, quick little updates there um, just, uh, just for things like that, so that you guys can be kept up to date and not miss out. But anyway, until next time, guys, have a good one. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, comment with anything you'd like me to cover in the future, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and support me on Patreon so that I can visit more parks and create more wonderful videos.